Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of American makeup products. Um, basically, a couple videos back, I did a big haul from when I went to Miami and there were some makeup products in there. I also have got some other makeup products. Um, I realised that I had a couple of things from Milk Makeup, which I haven't tested, and Milk is a brand that is sold in Sephora. I think you can now get it in the UK. Like. To be honest, the majority of these brands you can get in the UK. It's just harder to get hold of them, like Physicians Formula, CoverGirl, um, stuff like that. You can get it, but you have to pay for shipping and stuff. Also, let's just ignore the fact that um, I've lost one of my nails and also the rest of them are chipped, so they're not really looking the best. So obviously my face is paler than the rest of my body because I've still got a bit of tan on here, but it wears off your face a lot quicker. I have this, which is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Serum. There isn't actually any instructions on this. I think you literally just draw it on your face and it's kind of like a... <laughs> Brightening serum as the name suggests. I've seen a couple of people use this in like Instagram tutorials and stuff Oh man, I thought it would smell of watermelons, but it doesn't it's kind of just like this twist up stick balm thing It feels like the texture of lip balm And I think you just put this on her face. Let's just see how it goes. I've seen people just kind of draw it on Oh, actually when you draw it onto your face, it does feel like it's turning more into a liquid. Ah, and I'm just gonna rub it in, I guess. It doesn't smell of anything. I thought it would smell fruity, but it literally has no smell whatsoever. It's quite a thick texture, and it literally just kind of does just feel like I'm putting balm all over my face. I don't really know what I think of that. It feels very moisturizing, but my skin definitely feels like it's got a layer of something on it. Also, as I'm doing this, it's kind of balling up and Coming off, what the heck? Okay, right, let's just try and pat that in. Not too sure what I think of that one. I think I will have to try it more. I then have a product by Milani, which is obviously originally an American brand, but we do now have this. I think you can get it on. I think you can get this on Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty, actually. I'll have to double check that. I will leave all these products linked down below. This is the Milani Instant Touch Up Blur Stick, which apparently instantly smooths, mattifies, and controls shine. This is another type of like balm <laughs> product as well. I like how so far I just haven't used a mirror. Genuinely feels like I'm putting glue on my face. This is like the size of a glue stick and it looks like a glue stick, like... Okay. Okay, right. That is just making all of that serum underneath ball up even more. Those two products definitely do not like each other. I think that serum, maybe you should not wear it under makeup just because it's literally like coming off my face in like little balls. I mean, my skin definitely looks matte now. Moving swiftly on. I have this, which is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. Um, I've got the shade LC1. I'm hoping this is gonna kind of match me because it looks a little bit darker than my face and the sun's just gone in. It has a really strong smell, but I can't put my finger on what it smells like. Okay, maybe actually this is gonna be a bit too light. I've got no idea what the coverage is like. I don't know how much to put on. I think it's oxidizing though. Can you see where I put that on and then I just painted on a lighter bit? That is 100% oxidizing on my face. Yeah, like look. Look at that compared to that. I'm then just gonna go in with my beauty blender. Ooh, that looks really nice actually. I might put another layer on in a sec, but just that one layer looks super natural. It's blending really nicely. Okay, so with the amount that I put on, it's definitely not full coverage. You can still see like my blemishes and stuff through it. I would say it's more of like a medium coverage. I'm just gonna put on a bit more. The only thing I'm not too keen on is this type of applicator because I find it just a bit of a pain. Like it's, I find it quite time consuming having to like keep dipping back in because you don't get enough product on one kind of swipe. So I would personally just rather have a pump because I find it a bit easier to get more product. Okay, let's go in with a little bit more. It blends so nicely though. It's definitely a kind of dewy foundation, as you can see. I really like how that looks on my skin. I think it looks really nice and natural. Your skin still kind of looks like skin, um, but it just looks really smooth and flawless and it blended really nicely. I really like that. I will have to see how it lasts throughout the day. Uh, the time is like half two. I'll try and remember to do an Instagram story this evening. My Instagram is just Soph and see how it holds up. I'm then going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because I don't have a new concealer to test. This is actually the shade Porcelain, but this is what I use <laughs> when I'm tanned. I kind of mix this one and then also the shade Almond, but I've just been using this for the past few days. It's definitely not porcelain. I really need to try the Too Faced Born This Way foundation because I love this concealer so much. Okay, this concealer's darker than the foundation, but hey ho. 
This spot down here is just not not gonna cover. So for powder, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. Um, this is such a good powder. I normally use the lighter shade, which is 05, but at the moment this color is working really nicely for me. And I just love this powder so much. It just sets your makeup so nicely without looking too cakey, and I find that this makes my makeup last for ages. I mean, it does make a bit of a mess, but other than that, I love it. I'm just gonna test this on this spot down here. You know when you've got like a fresh spot and it just will not cover with any makeup? I'm gonna try this, which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. We do have this in the UK. I don't know whether we have the newer one yet because it's got different packaging, but we definitely don't have these shades. This shade is called Fair Porcelain 102. I'm gonna try and use this on this spot. I know it will be too light, but I'll try and cover it with the darker powder afterwards. I'm just taking some of this on a tiny brush. And I'm just going to go over that with this. Okay, yeah, that's definitely too light. However, that has given me coverage. That has definitely added coverage to this area. Okay, right, I'm now just going to go back over it with my Maybelline one to try and darken it up a little bit. Okay, that was too much. That powder definitely gave coverage. I will have to try that when I'm back to my normal like skin tone and I will let you guys know what I think of it because I think that looks like a winner. So for my bronzer and blush and highlight, I've got this, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette in 510. Um, I think they did have another shade of this, but it was out of stock, so I just went with this one. Um, and then I've also got for blush the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in natural glow this is a little bit light but i'm gonna still test it anyway this bronzer does look very dark uh i'm just gonna dip whoa okay that's really really pigmented oh my god oh dear okay right let's see how this goes it's very orange and that's definitely too dark for me i've literally just dipped in like boop and then tapping off my brush it's a very orange, kind of warm toned bronzer, which I kind of didn't realize at the time that I was buying this. I mean, it is blending nicely, but we definitely have a bit of an issue over on this side. Let's just try and blend that out a bit. This side always looks a bit lighter just because of the sun coming in from the window. To be honest, I do actually think that's quite a nice bronzer. It did blend out really nicely, but just for me, it's a little bit tricky to work with because it is quite dark and it is very orange. At least my face now kind of matches my body, sort of. And then I am going to try the Physicians Formula Butter Blush first. And if this is too light, then I'll go in with the CoverGirl one. I can't get over the smell of these. They actually smell incredible. I think you can kind of see that a bit. It definitely gives a tiny bit of glow. Hopefully you guys can see that there. I think when I'm back to my original skin tone, I will really like this blush. Oh, but that's definitely giving me a bit of glow. Do you guys see that? But yeah, I'm gonna dip slightly into this shade here, which looks very, very pink, and just put a tiny bit of this on my cheeks. Oh my God, yeah. I've got enough for both cheeks just in one dip. Just one last smell before I put this away. And then I'm gonna use the CoverGirl highlighter, which is this one here. It does look pretty glittery, um, which I didn't really realize when I was buying it in the shop, but we're gonna give it, give it a go. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know whether it's an overspray or not, but that's just put glitter like all over my face. Wait, let me just see. Let me see if I can wipe off the top layer and see if there's glitter like underneath it, because sometimes it's just an overspray. Okay, no, yeah, I think there's definitely like tiny little bits of glitter in this. Um, I mean, it's quite nice, but I now have little flecks of glitter like all over the rest of my face. Oh, it's such a shame as well, because the highlighter palettes that were next to this, they had like three highlighters in them. They looked like they were going to be really nice. And so I just thought that this one would be like the same as those, but clearly it's not. Um, Okay, this is not my favorite palette. I mean, the shades blended nicely, but I think the highlighter just kind of lets it down. It is pretty, but up close, I've literally got glitter all over my face. Yeah, like it's all in my baby hairs. And to be honest, it's not even giving me that much glow. Like on my nose, you can barely see it. And same with my inner corners. I do actually have another highlighter, which is by Milani. This is a setting powder called Make It Last. And this is in the shade 04 Radiant. It says it absorbs oil and illuminates. But when I opened this, I was like, there is no way I would want to put this all over my face because it's basically just like a highlighter. It's got like a little rotating thing here so you can stop it from like going everywhere when you travel with it, which I think is quite cool. I don't know. There is no way I would want to use this as a setting powder because it's so glowy. 
It's like a straight up highlighter. Actually, you know what? Let's see if this will work on my cheeks or whether it'll be too dark. Ooh, that's more like it with the highlighter. Oh my gosh. I also think like this shade will be so nice as like a body kind of highlight as well. Let's put a bit on the shoulders. Look at that. Okay, yeah, that works so nicely on your body as well. That would look so good on your legs, I think. For my brows, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Double Down Brow Waterproof Smudge Proof Brow Putty. I know that we can get Urban Decay really easily in the UK, but I haven't tried this, and it is an American brand, technically. This is the shade Brunette Betty, which is a warm brown, which I think, oh, that's gonna be too dark for me, but I will give it a go. It does come with this tiny little brush which actually looks quite decent. It's got a little mirror in it as well, which is handy. I have no idea what a brow putty is. Ooh, but it's kind of got a weird like creamy powder texture. So I just went with the lighter shade. Okay, to be fair, it doesn't come out as dark on your brows as it does in the thing, which is kind of a relief. The texture of it is basically, it kind of just feels like a brow, uh-oh. It kind of just feels like a brow powder, but it's a little bit more blendable, kind of. I don't really know how to explain it. It feels like a slightly creamy powder, but it's not like wet or anything. That's quite nice. The little brush that comes with it is actually pretty good, but I just wish it was kind of like extendable or something because it's a little bit fiddly because it's so small. Okay, these eyebrows are definitely <laughs> uneven. I think the shade is still a bit too warm for me. I've got glitter in my hair. But I mean, it's a nice product. Then for the eyes, when I was in America, I didn't really see any eyeshadow palettes that were particularly inspiring that we don't already have. But I'm hoping it will make this more clear about whether or not I like this or not. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Uh, first of all, this is heavy. Like, it's metal packaging and it is so heavy. Like, compared to my other mascaras, I picked this up and was like, it's like a week. I'm just gonna Google to see like what this, what, what they claim this to do and be. So this says it is a conditioning hemp derived cannabis oil infused heart shaped fibers. What, wait, what? Conditioning hemp derived cannabis oil fuses heart shaped fibers to lashes for thickness without the fallout. The double hydrating formula also fills the hollow fibers for a double dose of volume. Unique hollow heart shaped fibers lock onto lashes in each direction, adding width and length for long lasting volume and curl. So this mascara literally has cannabis in it. Apparently it's a vegan high volume mascara, no beeswax. I'm just kind of fascinated by this. So let's just put it on my eyes. Okay, it's a natural bristle brush. It doesn't look like anything too crazy. It smells like, it smells like cinnamon. Okay, so far it's given me length, but it's not really giving me any volume. Um, oh no, I got it on my nose and I got it on, oh no. Let's just keep going, I'll get this off in a minute. Okay, let's go in with another layer. Yeah, so it's definitely giving me length, but it's really not giving me much volume at all. I normally go for mascaras that are quite thick and clumpy, but this is not really giving me that kind of vibe. I'm gonna try and keep building it. So I definitely have a lot of length. Um, this is after four coats. I'm just gonna do my lower lashes. Okay, so give me, give me two secs. I'm just gonna try and get the mascara off my face. Oh no. Let's just pretend that nothing happened to my nose. <laughs> okay, so this is the mascara after four coats on my top lashes and two coats on my lower lashes. Um, as you guys can probably see, and if you've watched my videos quite a lot, you will know like how big my lashes can get. They do look very long, but they're just not very uh, voluminous. I can definitely get a lot more volume to my lashes than this. Um, Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm not the most impressed. I've definitely tried mascaras that I prefer and that are cheaper. Then the final product that I've got to try is one of Ofra's lipsticks. This is the, what is this? <laughs> it's just their kind of regular lipsticks. I've tried their liquid lipsticks and freaking love them, but I've never tried these lipsticks. This is the shade Rose and it looks really weird. So the packaging looks like this and it is magnetic, which is pretty cool. I'm so easily amused. I don't know, to me, it looks like it's made of like, wax. Okay, what the heck? It's like a balm. I have no idea what this is supposed to be, but it's kind of like a tinted lip balm, I guess. Let's just wipe off my current lip balm. Okay, what the heck? It's like really, really sheer. Super moisturizing though, oh my God. That's kind of it. The only thing that I'm noticing 
is it has a really not very nice taste, but oh my god, it's so moisturizing. It's basically kind of just like a tinted lip balm, I guess, but it smells and tastes like olive oil. My lips feel really juicy and really hydrated, and I actually really like how this looks if you want like a natural kind of looking lip. So this is what everything looks like. I actually think my face looks really nice. Um, my favorite thing was probably the foundation. I wasn't too sure about the Milk makeup products, but maybe I just need to try other ones. Um, oh, my lips look so juicy. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Which do you think was the best product out of all of them? Like I said, I will let you guys know on my Instagram um, this evening how the foundation holds up. If I forget, somebody please send me an angry tweet being like, so how's the foundation holding up? And then I remember, I'm just very forgetful. <laughs> I'm now just gonna answer a question of the day. As usual, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. It can literally be about anything. So question of the day comes from Mimi and she said, have you found some place or town in Croatia or Montenegro that you want to visit this summer love you so much so if you guys don't already follow my twitter i was tweeting that i wanted to visit either croatia or montenegro in the summer and i have actually booked a holiday to croatia which i'm so excited about and um, we're staying in the sort of like split area um and we've got like lots of fun things that we want to do like visit some of the national parks and like the waterfalls and stuff like that um so if any of you have been to croatia and you have any recommendations of where we need to go let me know and um, we booked like a really nice like airbnb a apartment place. Um, I do also have a link which I realised that you can do with Airbnb. Basically there's a link down below in my description box but if you guys are looking to book a trip or like book a place or like a, they also do like experience days on Airbnb, then if you click my link down below um, it says get £25 off your first booking with Airbnb. Um, it's not sponsored but if you guys do use my link then you get £25 off your first booking and I think I get £15 for my next booking. Um, so it kind of like benefits both of us so if you guys wanted to use that it's just linked down below. Um, but yeah. I'm so excited to go on holiday, I can't wait. Right, so that is it from me. I'm gonna go edit this video. I'm also gonna try and edit some of my Miami vlogs to get up soon. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.